Hi, folks. Wanted to uh, share with you uh, an idea I had for mining isometric games for isometric uh, mapping assets that you can use in MapForge. Um, I happen to have bought some games on Steam recently, uh, so that's the example I'm going to use. But this should, this could maybe also work with uh, games that you purchased on CD or DVD or whatever. Um, all right, so starting in the Steam library folder, we'll go in here into the common folder. And here are the games that I bought. Shadowrun is a great source of artwork, not only for uh, science fiction mapping, but also there's, there's stuff in there that you can use in modern day maps or even fantasy maps. So let's just go into Shadowrun Returns and you'll see the app. Uh, that app is really just a kind of a disguised folder. If you right click on it and select show package contents, it's like peeking inside that folder and we can continue to navigate just as you would normally in the file system. I'm going to go into the data folder, streaming assets and content packs. And this is where the content really resides. Let's go into Seattle and the art folder. Kind of a long hidden away file path, but you can refer to it here for convenience. It's my understanding that on the Windows version, the artwork resides in a plainly visible folder where you'll find PNG assets. So let's take a look, uh, let's say the medical lab folder. Clearly sci-fi oriented in this case. Some very nice artwork. You'll find floors, walls, uh, machinery, props that you can decorate your maps with. I'm just going through this very fast just to give you a general idea of what you can expect to find. It's not really the point of showing you every single piece of artwork. Let's look in the warehouse folder. Some of this could definitely be used on a modern day map. Now let's take a look at Dragonfall. Again, show package contents. And we can drill down to where the content is hiding. Some caves, some of this could be useful in a fantasy map. And it would literally take me hours to preview all the content that's in here. There's just so many thousands of pieces of art. Um, frankly, I bought these games just to mine them for assets. Uh, maybe I'll get around to playing them someday when I get some free time. But uh, for me, they were worth the purchase price just for mining the assets. So. You get the idea. And lastly, let's take a look at Shadowrun Hong Kong.
I can see those wall paintings and the statues being useful in all sorts of maps. Anyway, that's the idea. Uh, maybe you can apply this to other games like, uh, I don't know, Baldur's Gate, Neverwinter Nights, uh, Diablo 2. Uh, take your pick, whatever your favorite isometric game is. Uh, I hope this tip was useful, and thanks for watching.